U.S. combat veterans of foreign wars living in a Decatur senior living facility have been wanting to meet Congressman Mo Brooks for months. They had originally invited the Republican lawmaker to visit them on Veterans Day. Congressman Brooks granted that wish today at Brookdale Cedar Springs, where News 19's Joe Kadat spoke with retired servicemen and women who received personal letters written in their honor. We got off the plane. They uh, called us baby murders and was throwing tomatoes or something at us. Up. And we almost had to run to get, get, get our out boy from getting hit. Retired Army veteran Howard Jenkins says he was met with hatred from his own countrymen when he returned to the U.S. from the Vietnam War. He and other veterans at Brookdale Cedar Springs Independent Living in Decatur say a visit by Congressman Mo Brooks is special to them. It was kind of makes them exciting and knowing that somebody was thinking, thinking about it. Congressman Mo Brooks gave each veteran a personal letter thanking them for their service to the country. We did sacrifice a lot ourselves when we were there and uh, we appreciate uh, the Congress, congressman coming here today to visit with us. The congressman's remarks were met by applause as he thanked them for their service. That's one of the things that has made America the greatest nation in world history, and I believe we've held that stature for about 75 years. It's because of the sacrifices of those who are willing to fight for the principles, our foundational principles embodied in the Constitution, particularly the Bill of Rights, that have allowed us to have liberty and freedom and excel. In Decatur, Joe Kadat, News 19.